So I did not know about this, but you know, I give all the credit. So I'm on a card realm thing and Michael Lentz is a filmmaker and the host of I Hate Your Deck show about Commander and YouTube. Recently, he became the center of a controversy in which he was accused of sexual harassment. According to the accusations in a film, he was working with actress Benita Roberto. He coerced the actress into filming a nude scene. So here's Library of Lang, uh, sexual harassment, abuse of power, March 13th, 2022, host of EDH YouTube channel, I Hate Your Deck, Michael Lynch Bay. Michael David Lynch is accused in an article by Tampa Bay Times of sexual harassment. The channel is known for featuring such guests as The Professor and Brian Kibler. So I, I have no doubt those are two out, outstanding members of our community. According to Roberto, for the Tampa Bay Times, Lynch became angry and screamed at her when she discovered he included the scene. She wasn't comfortable during the first screening of the film. Benita Roboto, an actress turned director who had roles on Gossip Girl, Teen Wolf, and 2008's What Happens in Vegas, says she experienced intimidation similar to Peyton on the set of 2016 Dependence Day. While filming the largely improvised independent feature film, she spent hours a day with her director and co-star working out dialogue and scenes. So when her director, the director Michael David Lynch, suggested they do a full frontal nude scene, Roberto said she felt comfortable telling him in no uncertain terms that she didn't want to do it. But she says upon her refusal, Lynch became demanding, telling her the scene depicted something real and a movie needed to be authentic. So I guess like if you want to see people nude and you want to force people nude and, into like a porn-ish video, just be a director like Michael. Because apparently this is appropriate behavior. But you know, just make sure you use the right pronouns when you do so. Uh, he eventually agreed to film two versions of the scene. So basically he wanted to see her naked. I mean, I, I don't know how else to put it. Like this whole scenario revolves around him, you know. Yeah, I mean, it is, uh, ugh. When Roboto was in theater full of people for the film's first screening that she saw in his final cut, she says, I see myself huge, 50 feet high, completely naked by surprise. Surprise! Deciding she would not go through it with the release in the film of its current iteration, Roboto emailed Lynch to let him know. He called her back, she says, and began berating her. Oh, I mean, would this be something that Michael does in real life recently? Would he read a BuzzFeed article and then go after her on using his I Hate My Deck account? Oh, yes, yeah, so he did that. He tried to cancel her again. He tried to form a hate mob using the magic community and a non-magic... Oh, let me tell you what happened. He tweeted from the I hate... So why didn't he not tweet from his personal account? Well, you know, he, his personal account is not as big as the I hate my your deck brand. So he used... He was trying to get the magic dumbasses, right? And these are social justice warriors. So they're dumb as F, right? They're so dumb that like it's beyond. And none of them realized that he was forming a hate mob against a woman who had been abused, who at Washington Post, BuzzFeed, all these news articles, non with So imagine what he's trying to do for our community. So he's taking our community of dumbasses and we're going to be now supporting a sexual abuser. <laughs> and that's our look. People think that supporting Jeremy Hamley was bad. Wait till you see what Washington Post is going to say about Magic the Gathering community had we tried to cancel and harass her. Luckily, someone outside the community said, guys, what are you guys doing? Like, we got to believe her. And people like people knew the keyword, believe her. Oh my gosh, I heard that before. Michael told us that before. Believe her. Yeah, Michael, what are you doing? We got to believe her. <laughs> you know, the catchphrase, right? And they're like, wait. So I imagine all these like neck birds and all these dumbasses, right? So there are, there are all these Magic the Gathering people. And they're finally like, wait, wait. And they're kind of like using their very low IQ to figure out, believe her or attack her because Michael told us to. Oh, we gotta believe her because <laughs> that was a slogan. <laughs> That's the only thing those idiots remembered. Um, and then suddenly they turned on Michael. <laughs>
and I hate my deck. Remember, Michael was using the I hate my deck profile. It turned out, I, I don't, I've never watched an episode. It turned out he has a partner, and this is why I think this is so interesting. His partner left. Like imagine like you're a co-host and you both own this brand and the co-host that you're having, Michael, is using your account to demean and harass a person that he has been accused of harassing in the past. I would be appalled and I think his co-host was appalled and they haven't found a new one yet. A few days ago, Lynch denied the accusations and blamed the media for not getting things right, even though a video he linked to didn't address the problem. So here he is. The news doesn't get everything right. So do you think this guy is apologizing or do you think this guy is trying to attack her Bonita some more? Here's video of Bonita talking about the scene from her POV. Plus, when she did change her mind, we re the the scene as seen in the movie. Sorry, I didn't see anything about Bonita addressing the final cut screening. She did talk about two memorable moments on set, but not the relevant issue at hand. Unless, So he's trying to mislead. He's going to assume that most people are not going to watch the video, which they didn't. I mean, look at the likes and retweets. I mean, these are social justice warriors trying to harass a woman who has been forced to do a nude scene that she didn't really want to do. These, this is Magic the Gathering. I mean, do you realize how the outside looks at you? Magic players, they look at you with disgust. I look at you with disgust, honestly. She's talking about the scene in question. The This was before we reshot the scene that ended up in the film. The point is, if you watch this, was how excited she was to film that scene. Dude, this is like some imaginary, this guy thinks like she wants to hook up with him or something. Like, I don't understand. Like She does not want to be nude. You force her to be nude. I don't think she's excited about this, my dude. It sounds like she didn't like the final product. You fixed it. And now she's coming out. I mean, I sure hope you didn't pressure her to do it. Okay, we're gonna find out some more. The news was received with disgust by his community. Even his friend, Joseph Johnson, a co-host, decided to left, I mean, uh, whatever, let's leave the MTG show. IACYD is thankful for, I hate your deck, is thankful for all incredible fans and sponsors Card Kingdom dropped you, my dude. Card Kingdom will, I mean, they will support like anybody who's leftist. I mean, they will support like extreme leftist individuals uh, who have helped us build such an amazing community. In that same spirit, we wish the best to Joseph H. Johnson, his co-host. We part ways due to strategical differences and he embarks on a new venture. Lynch and I have been friends for years, so I'm sad to hear about the accusations made against him. That said, I believe them. Rachel Weeks. I think she was the one who interjected before the magic crowd community could cancel Benita. I'm upset for Benita and disgusted by Lynch's behavior. I won't work with a director who doesn't prioritize the safety and consent of its performers. And oh, he released a statement. I'm not going to read it to you because basically our lawyer wrote it. Still, part of the community is accusing the statement, affirming that it calculated and intentionally vague. Yep. And that is it. <coughs> oh, man. These people cannot, I mean, they can't stop canceling. And eventually, I mean, is it any mystery that the guy's canceling his own Patreon and then, and then this news drops and now he's trying to cancel poor Benita? That's all the guy knows. It's how to cancel people. And eventually he will be canceled because this thing is not going to go away. As Benina mentioned, this has been part of her life since 2014, 16, 18, 20, 22. It's going to follow you forever, Michael. And there's no amount of lawyers. There's no amount of hate mobs. There's no amount of Twitter followers that you can have that this, it's kind of Noah. When Noah wrote that apology letter for being, in his own words, a predator of women, that's the end of Noah. No one is going to forget that. And whenever he makes it big, people are going to mention that. BuzzFeed, Washington Post. Like you have to understand, outside of the magic community, people are reasonable, intelligent human beings. They're going to see this for what it is. You're going to see a director forced a very young actress at the time to do a scene that she was not comfortable with because he was the director and he had power, which he abused 
he kept her award and would only give the award if she basically stood next to him. He said a lot of bad things about her. He tanked a project that her friends were working on. He is very vengeful. His first reaction to a BuzzFeed article, which Benita did not ask for and obviously didn't even want, was to create a hate mob on Twitter using I hate my deck account so bad that his co-host is like, I can't be part of this, my dude. Why not use your personal account if you feel so strong? Oh, because it doesn't have as many followers. Okay, that's why. So you used a account that you should probably share with your co-host to attack a woman. And then later on, you know, one person, one person stepped in. I could see this scenario getting way out of control, like way out of control where you have magic neck bear trying to destroy this woman's life because that's what magic the gathering is. They love cancellation. They love it. They live it. Look at Eric. She lives it. She was going to be the cancellation queen before she herself got canceled for being racist. So, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Um, it's so interesting. A guy who's canceling people based on pronoun usage is actually the same guy who has been, you know, part of this ongoing investigation, if you will. And he thinks he can get away with it because he's a magic. He's famous in magic. I'm here to tell you that is not how life works. And even though you have lots of people donating money to you, I, I hope that they at least listen to Benito's video and see how you've basically impacted and destroyed her life. So, I mean, she's a very strong woman. Um, it looks like she had a good life. Um, she had a good career, but I'm sure in the back of her mind, she was always skeptical of these directors, right? Because of her experience with you. And that's very sad. Um, no one should use their power to coerce anyone, male, female, trans, you know, any pronoun identification you want to use to do something they don't want to do uh, in fear of repercussions, which is what this guy's been doing the whole time. You no know, hate mobs, right? I mean, his first response was, I'm going to form a hate mob using my magic account to attack her. Now, that didn't turn out, but that could have easily, knowing the magic community and the social justice warriors, that could have easily, easily turned out really bad for the magic community. Because could I see a world where they kind of go along with Michael? Say, yeah, because the reason that Michael's using and forming this hate mob is because he thinks it's going to work, right? He knows his community better than anyone. He is positive it's going to work. It took an outside person who was friends with Michael to say, I believe her. And once they understood, I believe, their like brains kind of exploded because they're like, wait a second, did Michael tell us I believe? To believe her? Right? Because they're so, so, so they're, they only under, really understand catchphrases. They don't really understand why we made that catchphrase or why that catchphrase exists, but they trust me, they understand catchphrases. And then suddenly they were like, oh, Michael's a bad guy, isn't he? <laughs> right? And then the, the wheels like, turn very slowly, very slowly. And they're like, oh, Michael is a bad guy. And then they turned on Michael and he had to delete things. I mean, the fact that his co-host is gone for strategical differences. I mean, hey, more props than the co-host, man. I mean, hey, that's, that's pretty brave. I mean, Michael might come after you, my friend. I mean, given Michael's history of coming after people, he'll come after the co-host for sure. Bye, guys.